Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the next two methods for the irrigation, that is check flooding and the basin flooding. So let's start. First of the method is the check flooding irrigation. Now in this check flooding irrigation, what we do, we irrigate the field or we simply flood the field and that is similar to the ordinary flooding except that the water is controlled in this method and how do we control that so we build the check area around the water and the water is flooded within this check area with the low and the flat levees now the water that flows in this supply ditch this is the supply ditch that i have highlighted and the water will be flooding the check area through these gates or the openings now this water which is flooding the field that is kept within the field with the help of these check boundaries these check boundaries are known as the low or the flat levees or in the local language they are known as the domes now if we look at the cross section so this is the field so these levees will be in this form this will be a levee so these levees are generally constructed along the contours that means the plane or the line that is passing through the points of equal elevation having the vertical interval of 5 to 20 cm that means this height that means this height is between 5 to 20 cm now these levees are connected with the help of the cross levees that means these levees which are in the transverse direction to the actual levees they are known as the cross levees or the connecting levees and they are decided in such a way so that the confined area that comes out to be between 0.2 to 0.8 hectares that means this area will be 0.2 to 0.8 hectares now this check area is filled with water at high rate and that is allowed to stand until it infiltrates that means once the water enters into this field the supply is cut off and after that the water is allowed to stand in this field till the time the water is getting infiltrated into the soil now this type of irrigation method is suitable for more as well as the less permeable soil because for the more permeable soil that means the water will be percolating within the soil very easily in that case we can increase the supply rate and for the less permeable soil we can give enough time so that the water gets infiltrated that's why this type of irrigation technique can be used for both the type of soil now as you can see this is the supply ditch that has been highlighted here and there is some opening through which the field will be flooded different check areas are flooded with the water and once they are flooded the supply is cut off as you can see here these are known as the levees the ones with the red color they are known as the levees and the levees connecting them in the perpendicular direction they are known as the connecting levees or the cross levees next of the method for irrigation is known as the basin flooding irrigation and this is also a type of check flooding that means in this also we will be constructing an area within which the water will be confined but this is a special case of the check flooding which is suitable for the orchard trees that means the type of trees which you usually observe in the gardens now in one particular check area one or more trees generally placed and this check area that is known as the basin the surface is flooded as done in the check method by the ditch water that means through the supply ditch now if you look at the real image it would be more clear so as you can see these are the separate basins through which these are the separate basins which are the check area for individual tree and this is the supply ditch and this supply ditch will be supplying the water at the root of the each of the basin and after that these tree will be blossoming into this type of and they will be giving us fruits so these are the four methods of the irrigation in the next video we will look at the next two methods of the irrigation thank you